going for a little walk to the lighthouse, right Mia? Yeah. So we're going to do a little lighthouse walk today. Walk through downtown and head over to the lighthouse. Make our way back. P. B. Essex Museum. Really good museum if you get a chance to come check it out. What do you see? Pictures. All right, so we are in Pickering Wharf in Salem, right down the road from where we live. And we're just gonna do a little, a, um, lighthouse walk um, I've had people DM me saying that they haven't been here in a while they used to live here and they used to miss walking out to the lighthouse and they would love a little lighthouse walk so guess what that's what we're gonna do walk out to the lighthouse and come back all right so it is hot outside but I'm gonna go for it there's the friendship getting worked on yeah they're just fixing the uh, the masts and on the inside as well the masks are over there laying down. They'll put them back up soon. You know who made that famous, right? All right, starting at the custom house and making our way for the walk over here. And as you can see, custom house is important to Nathaniel Hawthorne. First chapter of the uh, Scarlet Letters about it. Derby Wharf, and here we go. Salem Maritime National Historic Site. This park's pretty cool during the 4th of July. They, um, right over here they have a big, big stage with a band and um, everybody shows up. Everybody lines this whole place up over here with chairs and places to sit and wait for the fireworks. They um, play some music, everybody brings their coolers, finds a place to sit, and uh, it's pretty good. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know how long this walk is out to the lighthouse and back. All I know is that back when uh, I was young, I used to be able to sprint from here all the way to the lighthouse. Now, if I try to do that, I will probably have a rectal prolapse or something weird like that. Uh, that's not happening. I'm older. But the beach has got these chairs. We'll go to these chairs real quick. Chairs are here all the time for the winter. And, well, not the winter winter, but up until late fall. We put them back out in the spring. And here we are in Salem Harbor. How's the water, Pooks? Nice. All right. So they're refurbishing the friendship over here. So it got rehauled not too long ago, but I guess when they were rehauling it, they left it out in the uh, elements and all the elements got into it and did some damage to the wood. So now they're redoing everything. That's why the masts are only halfway done. So they're working on it. When it's done, it'll be wicked nice again. But as of right now, they're still working on it. You can see the lady there in the front holding on to the flowers. So we're going to walk for now.
Pickering Wolf. Some of the industrial buildings over there. Salem Academy School is over there. And then that way is out towards ocean. So down here along the side, there used to be a bunch of little information things, little signs and signage. But due to some storms that we had, the water actually covered this whole little walking area and took those things out. So they removed them. I don't think they're going to put them back. To be honest with you, since I've been a kid, this thing has not changed much. <laughs> not changed much at all. The only thing I have noticed about this whole walking strip is that there's a slight slant going down to the left in some parts. I guess due to the erosion of some of the storms that we've had. But other than that, not much for changes. They try to fortify it with wood and everything. Nice little walk. Once in a while, you see some fish jumping over here. You got this little boardwalk over here. Now, normally, what this would be used for would be like for people pulling up with their boats or whatever, and for people coming onto the, you know, jumping onto their ship or whatever the hell they got. But I've never seen this used for that. So I just think honestly it's just something here to give a little bit more girth to the walkway. But that's about it. Alright, let me go way back up. Now walking around here, it's easy for you to lose your balance and stuff like that because it's not really exactly flat. There's bumps and everything all over the place. And again, that's mainly due to the storms that come around and sometimes engulf the whole walk and make it uneven. So if you do come out here, just watch your footing. Yeah, I got a boat coming in, yep. Ain't New England unless there's boats. We're a fair way out here from the main area over there as you can see. Closer and closer to the lighthouse. If you are a fan of um, Adam Sandler movies, you'll probably recognize this lighthouse from the movie uh, Who Be Halloween? When he goes out to talk to, man I forget the name of that girl, when he thinks that she's the, the serial killer and it shows a lighthouse scene. 
This is the lighthouse. Almost there. See what I mean? All of this, depending on the storm or whatever, ends up underwater. And it wreaks havoc on like where people walk, so. I got a boat coming in. Chow dog. And here it is, the lighthouse. Usually there's a bunch of people here fishing or Whatever. Not today. Looks like we got it to ourselves. That ain't opening. Yeah, there's a big lock under there. This is the furthest point. And a sailboat coming in. Salem's beautiful. That was a nice little walk out to the lighthouse. Heading back home because the, it's starting to cloud up right now and getting windy, which means the storm is gonna hit us soon. So that is it. See you later.